YouTube. Welcome to another another episode of uh, New Zona Rides. I'm uh, out and about, uh, just uh, doing a little uh, doing a little riding and uh, a couple of uh, new things we're trying out. The weather's been kind of gloomy and. Uh, just been out here riding by myself. Joanna has, uh, she wasn't able to make it today, so I'm just out here riding by myself. And I got uh, a bunch of uh, new equipment that I'm checking out right now, you know, just kind of testing out. This uh, trail right here is the Four Peaks uh, recreational area. It's, uh, it's pretty mellow. It's been pretty mellow. It hasn't, uh, it hasn't done anything surprising or anything like that. It's been pretty uh, predictable and nice and mellow uh, ride. We're uh, going up in elevation from, you know, down in the desert where it's super hot. And we'll be uh, climbing uh, to about 7,600 feet at the peak up here. So it's gonna be, uh, gonna be getting nice. We're at about 4,000 feet right now. We started at uh, at about uh, 2,500 feet, so we've been going pretty much uphill, nonstop the whole time, and it's been pretty sweet. So let me tell you about some of my new equipment. I knew um, pretty early on that I was going to be doing a lot of riding by myself, you know, because I don't. Uh, well, I just, I don't know. I'm just one of those guys that uh, kind of likes to be by myself a lot of times. Uh, you know, if I found somebody cool to uh, to hang out with or ride with, I certainly would. I'm not opposed to that. It's just that uh, uh, I guess you could say my standards are, are high. But I wanted to be safe about it. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to be out here in the middle of nowhere where there's no cell phone service and uh, not, uh, you know, have some way to get help if I needed it. So I bought this right here. This is the uh, DeLorme InReach. I got this on a smoking deal. Uh, got one of those, uh, you know, one of those flash sales. They had a flash sale on it. And uh, it's the old version. This is uh, when DeLorme was DeLorme. Uh, they uh, they made this. They're the ones that came out with this. And basically what this thing is, is a uh, satellite tracker. It uh, just in the background constantly updates and keeps uh, uh, Joanna updated with where I'm at. You know, every 10 minutes it'll send out my location through satellites. And actually, if you go to my Facebook page or follow me on Twitter, you'll be able to follow me in real time as well. If you go there, um, you'll see that this every time this updates, it posts to Facebook and to Twitter as well. So you can, you know, kind of follow along on my ride as well if you uh, were so inclined. Uh, but since Garmin has recently purchased Delorm, they they own Delorm now. Um, Garmin made a new version of, uh, of this device uh, called the, uh, can't remember, Explorer, is that right? Anyway, can't remember exactly, but they're quite a bit uh, more expensive, the, the Garmin version of this, and they made a, a, a few changes. I thought that there wasn't any changes really at, at all to speak of, but there are uh, some changes. Uh, Garmin did, in fact, um, make this this device better uh, than than uh, than this one here. Uh, Garmin made it, you know, look like actually it looks a lot like this device here. Uh, you know, still still real similar uh, features. I mean, but the Garmin version adds some some different uh, things to it that I'll talk about maybe. If you guys are interested, uh, comment in the comments if you're interested in knowing uh, the differences between uh, the DeLorme version 
Abyss. To, uh, hopefully we don't see that guy again because uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to talk to that guy anyway uh, man I mean when you're passing somebody you know it uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of do it in a uh, in a nice way it made me lose track of everything i was talking about but anyway let me know in the comments if uh if you're interested in the differences between uh, the two devices or you're interested in knowing more about uh, how this works and and uh, all that kind of thing how much it costs and and all that kind of stuff because uh, there is a subscription service it's not uh you know super cheap but you you van dwellers out there that uh you know that like to uh camp by yourselves uh and you know a lot of times there's no cell phone service you might want to uh, think about uh, one of these devices for yourself as well because you can communicate via text message uh anywhere so that would uh, come in handy for some of you guys that uh, like to go out uh, you know alone by yourself and uh you know and then your cell phone doesn't work you know especially if you're driving something uh, less than reliable uh, I guess it, you would say you know if you're driving something older and uh, you know and, and it had you know could break down or something like that you might want to definitely uh, think about it I mean it's not it's not cheap. Their cheapest uh, service is not too bad. It's $15 a month or something like that for the cheapest plan. And if you only used it for emergencies, that would be uh, that would be fine. That would be uh, just fine for for that kind of thing. Um, okay, so moving on to the next piece of equipment, uh, the uh, camera mount that's uh, on my helmet is. Uh, is new i uh, spent all afternoon yesterday finally building the camera mount for my helmet that, that i've always wanted um, the ones that they make for you know these action cams to mount to your helmets you know some of them are better than others um, but you know there's always something i don't like about them you know what i mean like some of them are better than others, but none of them were perfect. None of them were exactly what I wanted. And what that was is I wanted the camera mounted to the side of the helmet. And I have a helmet where the, where the chin guard flips up, you know. Uh, some people call them hamburger helmets. They're called, you know, uh, and the reason why people nickname them hamburger helmets is, be is because uh, you can... Uh, you can flip them up and uh, eat a hamburger. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, so it needed to be on the side of the helmet. Couldn't be in the front on the chin guard, you know, because you got the wire for the microphone and all that stuff. So what I wanted it on the side and I wanted it so far forward that you couldn't see the helmet, you know, that you had, you know, an entire wide uh, field of view just like uh, just like I have you know you have the same view of the of the road or the terrain or whatever as uh, as I do sitting here so that's what I wanted and I also wanted it to be rock solid you know every single one of these mounts that I've ever used for any camera have always had you know when you hit a bump they vibrate and you can you know and they move around you know the none of them are rock solid steady you know that I've ever used and um, you know so when you hit a bump or uh, 
you know, if you're going real fast and the wind is, uh, you know, hitting the camera, it's, uh, you know, they move around. And you can see that in the, in the video footage. It's definitely better if, you know, the, the camera doesn't move, you know, that it's just rock solid to your head. So that's what I've done. I've made a mount that is, uh, you know, built like a, like a, I'm telling you, like a brick shit house, man. No joke. And uh, made it out of a solid piece of aluminum and uh, cut it and drilled the holes and threaded them. And, oh, man, I'm telling you, it was a lot of work. The mount itself is exactly what I've always wanted. It works uh, perfect. This is the first time I'm trying it. I'm using a different microphone as well. I'm not using my uh, my microphone I had been using in the past. I'm not wearing the same helmet that I was using in the past because I was worried about uh, messing that helmet up. That helmet it was a very expensive helmet, you know, over $500 helmet, you know, for my uh, for my street bike. So I didn't want to mess it up. This is my old helmet from a couple of years ago, and it's actually more comfortable to wear than the other one. Uh-oh, looks like our terrain has drastically changed, people. For how long, I wonder. Got a little rougher. All right, so I'm gonna uh, turn the cameras off and I'll turn them back on in a minute in order to keep the, uh, the file sizes uh, manageable, manageable. As soon as I get to a uh, spot where I can turn the camera off.